Morning ladies and gents. This morning we are on Dartmoor looking for the War Horse House. I think it's about a 20 minute walk from where I'm to so uh, we're going to have a little wander. It's a beautiful day as you can see. The sun is out even though it's cold but excellent day for exploring. So um, I'm going to get this walk out of the way, about 20 minutes like I say, and then um, I'll hit you back when I get closer. If I see anything interesting on the way, I'll be back on. Right, I'm back. I've just got my first glimpse of the chimney. I don't know if you can see it over there. Absolutely beautiful place. Anyway, I'll tell you what else I've found as I've come along the path. To this place very interesting found three hang on i'll put them down on the floor three of these um bullet casings so pick them up as a little souvenir who knows I might even spot some more in a minute as we go surprising what's lying around maybe as one of the trucks or something's come up it's fell out the back I don't know but, uh, there you are you can just see the house now uh, some other people here as well I'm having a look around I expect River down there, look. And I'd say there's an old quarry there at the top. So, supposed to be a few other bits around here. Somebody just coming out from the house now, look, as you can see. Right, I'll hit you back in a minute. Right, yeah, we're at the house. It's a bit awkward today because there's so many people here so I've just had to wait a minute for everybody to disappear so I've got two minutes to have a look around. Uh, in 2010 this was used for the um, War Horse movie. Nice camera up there, that. War Horse movie. And um, that was done by still Steven Spielberg. And um, previous to that, the house was originally built for the. Um, oh, I wonder if you see in here. No, for the Rabbit Warren Keeper. So um, quite interesting. I expect a lot of you have watched the movie War Horse anyway. It's quite a popular location. <laughs> Makes a day out on the moors, doesn't it? And this could be the outside lavatory, I would say, from back in the day, but it looks like somebody smashed the toilet, maybe recently. What a shame. As you would have called it back in the day, the outhouse. <laughs> And then here is what remains of, I would say, an old cow barn or something. So, this place does look very secure, but we will have a little nose to see if there is a way in. But the way it's chained and things are fastened, I wouldn't have said so. That one's shut tight. They're all welded. Tight. Doesn't look like, unfortunately, I'm going to get in there. 
somebody did say some of the research I've been doing that there is a dog kennel in the wall and I'm assuming whether it's this over here that I've just spotted so we will see I'd say that's it so maybe only a short video today I seem to be struggling lately with time you know it's like yeah but that was the dog kennel look. <laughs> yeah you know what it's like trying to find time busy life <sighs> work and things is uh, not having time to explore all the time when you want it but hopefully we'll get a bit more time in a minute to do a few good videos I was hoping to get inside here today and actually uh, see a bit of footage but um, see what I can do it's not looking very promising at the minute so um, I will have a look properly because somebody did say one well, of these shutters opens but we will see right I'll see what I can do if one of the shutters opens I'll be back in five if not thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed what I've shot and um, I do apologize if it's only a short video